Green mango lemon rice or mavena kai chitrana is a very popular rice dish from Karnataka, also known as mamidakaya pulihora in Tamil Nadu. It's a quick and easy rice dish to make. If you don't have raw mangoes, you can just use lemon or lime juice. I like to add a little bit of zest as well. I use ponni short grain rice for this, not basmati. You can use any short grain rice as long as it's not sticky. Let's start off first by cooking the peanuts and the cashew nuts in some hot oil. If you are allergic to peanuts, just omit those and use extra cashews or choose which nut you really like and use that. Give it a good stir until the peanuts are crunchy. It is very traditional to use peanuts that are unroasted and have their skin on for this dish. When they are fragrant and crispy, drain them out and in the oil that's left over, add your whole spices. These are the spices and flavorings that will bring taste and flavor to your rice. Make sure not to overcook the ponni rice. You want a loose rice, which is easy to coat with these spices. Start off by first cooking the black mustard steam until it crackles. Now add some uh, chana dal, which you have soaked and drained. Add some uh, husked Bengal gram, which you also soaked and drained. You'll find the exact steps and measures on my YouTube channel or at taradeshpande.in. Stir these together until they're golden and aromatic. Now add your curry leaves and cook these until they splutter and crackle and release their citrusy flavors into the oil. Now add some red chilies. You can use bedgi, you can use dried Kashmiri chilies. This will bring a beautiful uh, spicy flavoring to your rice. This dish is not very spicy, so if you want more spice, you can add more red chili powder later. I also like to add some whole cumin and a little bit of hing. If you don't have hing or asafoetida, that's fine too. Now add your turmeric powder and your red chili powder and stir quickly to prevent burning. This will release not just the flavors, but the colors of the turmeric and the red chili powder into the oil, which will bring a beautiful golden hue to your rice. Add your drained cooked ponni rice, give it a good toss, add your green mangoes, mix well so that it's evenly distributed. Now you can add all those crunchy nuts that you had set aside and give it another good toss. Season with salt. You can add a little jaggery in case you find the rice too sour. Sometimes the mango can be very sour. This is not a very sweet dish, but sometimes you do need a little jaggery to balance it out. I finish it off with a little bit more lime juice and lime zest. It brings a real uh, punch to the dish. I like to top it off with a little bit of uh, finely chopped green coriander. You can also use parsley if you like. Now your chitrana is ready. Sometimes I add boiled peas to this as well so that it has some veggies in it. I serve it with like a thin gravy uh, or just yogurt sometimes and some papadums or papars and it's absolutely delicious. You'll find the recipe at taradeshpande.in and in the YouTube description. Enjoy your chitrana.